the chanting. What is all that crazy yogic chanting? What's that about? And then the end. Yeah. Well, well, let's well let's let's talk about the fighting for our life. Um, so when Shakti comes, it tends to be a lot of heat, and it's very easy for our e ego psychology to be like, "How hot is it in here? Where's that air conditioner? Like, is it 90 degrees out? It's the middle of summer. Like, damn it, this place, this old building should have AC. It's way too hot." Now I would let you know that if you know we're in a really cool room and we had the AC you know, cooking at whatever, 65 degrees, you would still have that same heat. So that heat is a fire of purification. And when it comes into us, again, it can be confusing, disorienting. Our mind can freak out a little bit and be like, what the hell is going on? Like, did they turn up the heat? Like, when is this going to end? Is it almost like time? Is it time to be done? Is it time? Is it time? Is, you know, and so we can feel like we're in a cooker. Now, it's important to remember that heat is light, okay? Light is purifying, okay? And so often it's just burning up, whether it's layers of resistance, old karma, and again, like don't take any of that personally, just things we know about, things we don't know about. And so for many years when I sat with my teacher, I was looking out the door Say, when can I run the hell out of here? Because it was so damn hot. It was so overwhelming. It was so fire. It was so intense. And it was just, it was ruthless, like that heat. And sometimes it, it can be like that. And that's a, that's a normal experience. You know, when we meditate for a while, it, we, we tend to come into that. Um, if you want to know what any of the, the mantras that I'm chanting, let's just make it real simple. If we're good Christians, it's praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. And oh divine, I bow before thee. I bow before thee. But the beings that were coming tonight, it was um, Kundalini Shakti. So that's a manifestation of the divine feminine. And again, she'll come with some heat, some fire, some wildness. Uh, there was, there was Skanda and Jyoti Shakti, which again, Jyoti Shakti is just it's like fiery light. Skanda is the god who's in charge of all the gods, of the forces of light. And then Swami Nityanandaji seems to be popping in. And so he uh, basically was an Indian sage who lived, um, gosh, last century, and maybe even, he may even have been born in the 1800s, so. Um, and he was just this being, like this big, this yogi with a gigantic belly. And he didn't wear much clothes, so he'd just be like naked, like look like a big baby, you know, like in his um, little dhoti. And, um, and he brings immense bliss and also a fiery truth, a fiery truth. And so I don't ask for any of this. It just, it comes and I just do my job of, of honoring what's here. <laughs>